Greetings to another video. Today's video is going to be five different things or five different tips that I've learned to do before doing like a big event or a sportif or Audax or anything like that. So, um, just want to start off by saying that um, one of the events that I'm going to be doing this year is the Ride London event which is sponsored by Evan. So yes, that is what I will be doing. That's one of the events that I've got on. So I'll be heading down to London and yeah, trying out some roads down south because you know that I'm a big fan of up north. So yeah, let's see Let's see what the, uh, the southern roads have to offer. So let's just get straight into the five tips. Right, so the first tip that I would say is quite obvious because I'm saying, is you've got to train. You've got to train for the event that you're doing. So if you're doing a flat event, yeah, train flats. If you're doing a really hilly event, you need to train hills. So when I've done like the ATAP and stuff last year, I was doing a lot more hill climbing. Um, so just train for the event that you've got. I'm not saying that you have to go out and do the same distance or the same amount of elevation. If you can, that's great. But train for the event that you're doing because I see so many people on events especially more in running races and obviously it's obviously cycling but people just go out and do these things and think oh it'll be fine on the day they don't train for it but the reason that you train is so that you can actually enjoy it more on the day so first tip is to train second tip would be to actually look at the course that you're doing like work out where the climbs are where the feed stops are um how it's all like kind of planned out because I haven't done this before and then actually afterwards I'm like actually it would have really helped to know that climb was coming up at this point because I think on my um, first ever sportif that I did on my own I think it was like 85k in about 1500 meters and it was about what four three four years ago I was so scared but what actually helped me to to do it was actually look where all the the climbs were going to be it was oh, what was it called was it the half hog route Anyway, it had a load of climbs. I had like snake paths, strines. There was a lot of climbing. And so I wrote on like a bit of paper and stuck it to my top tube. Some events you do actually get that, like with the Fred Witt, and you actually get something to stick on your top tube. Um, but for me, I wanted to know where the climbs were coming, how long they were going to last for, um, so that I could pace myself. So that is something that I would suggest you to do. Right, like right, on a piece of paper, just write down where the climbs are, where the tough sections are going to be, how long they last, just so that you are aware when you're riding that it's not going to last forever and you can get through it so that would be the second tip so the next tip is get your bike serviced or get it checked over or you check it over if you feel confident doing it before an event because there is nothing worse than paying to go to an event getting there travel accommodation being on the event and then having a mechanical that could have been prevented if you had just checked it over so that's another tip um, I actually went down to Evans, they actually serviced the Cannondale behind because that's the, uh, the bike that I'll be doing Ride London on, um, just to go and check over it, make sure it's all okay. Um, I will get it checked again before it's in August, so I will get it checked again, or I'll probably check it over to be honest, um, before the event. Right, so I'm here with Toby from Evans. Hi. So, hello. So you're going to be servicing the Cannondale today, so yes. why is it important to kind of get it serviced before a big event such as like Ride London? Just to make sure that it's going to be working as well as it could do, you're not going to have any unforeseen mechanical failures. Yeah, because that is what you don't want <laughs> on an event, if you paid that money to go, you don't want to be having mechanicals yeah. that could have been prevented just by having a quick check over. Yeah. And if people maybe don't have a full service, if they're checking stuff themselves, what are the main things that you would say to kind of look out for on your bike? Uh, the main thing before an event is to check the chains okay, yeah. um, make sure it's cleaned and lubricated properly. Yeah. Um, double check the gears and the brakes are working, that's quite important. If you quite important, be yeah. Stop. So check, check how, how much wear is on your brake pads. Yeah. The other thing to check is that your rear derailleur hang is straight, Yeah. because um, they get bent quite easily. So one of the other things that's really important is to check your tyres for any bits of flint or any big cuts. Um, any bits of flint that are in there will work their way through and cause a puncture before you know it. Um, it happens quite a lot, like, even for some of the pro teams. Like For every race they go around and just check all of their tubs. Fourth tip would be, in the run-up to events such as Ride London or a big Audax that I would do or a Sportif, I'm really, um, str not strict, I guess I was, what's the word? Basically, I just make sure that I'm hydrated and that I've eaten enough. So in the days leading up to it, I'll make sure that I'm drinking at least three litres of water a day. 
probably seems a lot but for me like I just feel like that's what I need to stay fully hydrated so that my urine is clear and yeah I'll just make sure that I'm eating plenty of like whole plant food carbohydrates such as potatoes, um, sweet potatoes, veggies, I'll have rice um, in the days leading up to it so that my body is just perfectly fueled, perfectly hydrated at the start of the actual ride. Oh god, oh, my nose is itching. And tip five is kind of leading on from the food and drink tip. Make sure that the food and drink that you're going to be taking on your event is one that you've used before. There is nothing worse than going out onto one of these events, and I've done it before, and trying something and you're just feeling sick from it and it's just not agreeing with you, with you because you're not used to it. So the food that you take with you, make sure that you have tested it and you've tried it and it works well for you and your body. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it. And I guess one extra add-on little tip is enjoy it because we do these events because we like them, they're a challenge. Um, so just enjoy it and have fun. It is not the end of the world, it is just a bike ride and we do it because we enjoy doing it. So don't ever forget that. I reckon that's pretty much it then for this video. I hope those tips have helped. If you have any other tips that you think would help a fellow cyclist enjoy their day of sportif or the event that they're signed up to do, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next video.